This boat weighs over 16,000 pounds. It's powered by a combined 620 horsepower. The generator produces 4,500 watts of power, and yet it's all shut down by something as small as a mouse. So yes, we have yet another beautiful day and sort of sadly we are going to be, this is going to be our final travel day for our, our uh, cruise 2021 because we have to go home. It's, it's a day earlier than we were expecting to. Today is Tuesday, right? Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. That's right, because tomorrow was Thursday and I have something to do tomorrow. So we were going to uh, keep going this way. We just left the bottom side of uh, uh, the Kirkfield lift lock where we spent the night. Had a nice night chatting with our neighbors. Uh, met one YouTube follower, as well as some new people that we've never made, met in the past. And had a great evening last night. So why are we going home earlier? We were gonna carry on this way and stay at one more lock for the night because it's supposed to be again beautiful day as it is and tomorrow, sunny day. So the reason that we are having to cut it short is because that aforementioned thing that's as small as a mouse, it's a mouse. <laughs> we got a friggin' mouse on the boat. Two o'clock in the morning, sound asleep, and all of a sudden it's it's like, what the hell is that? Anchor Girl and I both like sat up in bed, grabbed my phone and just, you know, shone the screen around. It's like, what's going on? What's going on? We had the hatches open, so I, of course, immediately closed those. And didn't know what it was. So I came outside the boat at 2 a.m. with my bright LED light, shone it on the deck, nothing. I thought I had saw some tracks going across the top of the deck because it was kind of frosty, but I don't know. All right, whatever, I can't see it. Go back inside, no more sounds. So I was hoping for that it was just something crawling across the deck, walking across the deck, because we've had that in the past. A lot of times, even at our home marina, we'll, we'll have birds will land on the railing and that just goes blink, 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 and usually I just, <laughs> I'll pound the, uh, the deck from the underside and that'll scare them away. So, okay, come back inside, lie down. Five minutes later, of course, as soon as we got quiet, scratching again, okay, all right. On with the lights, let's check and see what this is. We could not figure it out for the longest time. Did some investigating all around the inside of the boat. Couldn't see anything, couldn't determine anything what it was. I'm dead tired at that point. It's probably right close around 2.30 or later. So, okay, I'm going back to bed. I, I, can't, I can't stay awake. Of course, Anchor Girl was concerned that there was something on the boat <laughs> so she did she elected to stay up so she just slide on or sat on the couch we had a small led light going just to illuminate the space just a little bit keep an eye out and i was like yep there it is a mouse appeared we have a little wicker basket that we keep munchies and that in and it ran across she saw it okay on with the lights again now we gotta really investigate, try to find out where this little bugger is, but it's a mouse, so he doesn't wanna come out, he's frightened. He does wanna come out, but he doesn't wanna be confronted by people. Of course, we've got a built-in mouse chaser on the boat. Well, yeah, not so much. <laughs> little tiny was in, he was sniffing around because he could hear with his ears, or see with his ears, and he was like little radar, and he was kind of wandering around where we thought it was. So, long story short, 
I set up a bit of a trap. We have, uh, there's a pocket where the old TV was. This boat came equipped with a 13 inch TV VCR, an old tube type, which is long gone. It was gone before we bought the boat. And so in that space, that's that aforementioned wicker baskets where we keep a bunch of junk. So took that out and in behind there, because the TV had been mounted, there's holes for cables and whatever else running through there, like coax cables. So all these holes, all right, that's a potential for him to run out. Sounds like he's right in the zone here. So I took masking tape and I taped up all the little holes and said, all right, well, we'll just leave them, contain them. I want to go back to bed again. Tried that, didn't work, all scratch and right, well, what can we do? So I came up with a brilliant idea, which has not seen any success so far, was I put a towel in that little space on that shelf, shall we say, and pulled one piece of the tape back, exposing one of the holes, and put a couple of pieces of cheese popcorn. Everybody loves cheese popcorn, I'm sure the mouse does too. And just sat there and wait, just holding the towel, I figured if he comes out, boom, I will capture him. So waiting, 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 arms getting sore, they're still sore because I was kind of crouched like this for many minutes at a time. Mind you, this all went through to 5.30 this morning. He can believe it. <laughs> I laugh now, but it, it, was, it was very frustrating. It was funny. Yeah, funny. Yeah, it's funny. Between Anchor Girl, myself, and Little Tiny, yeah, it was entertaining. <laughs> I actually even went out of the boat a second time and wandered all around, up and down the break wall, like the, more or less the dock where we were tied. I was, Maybe it was raccoon. Anyways, gave up on that. So came back and tried to get coax this little guy out of the hole. And he finally he appeared. He actually ran down or crawled down one of the coax cables behind the hole. I could see it. It's like, there you are, you little bugger. And he's like, human. Nope. I'm going back inside. So waited, waited, waited. Tried, tried, tried. He wouldn't come out again. So I just taped up the holes and uh, convinced Anchor Girl that this is crazy. We gotta lie down for a little while because I knew I was gonna have to travel today. So we lied down for, I fell asleep for about an hour and then half an hour again and Anchor Girl got up, started the generator. I finally got up too. And so the bottom line is no more mousy noises after that, but we still have a mouse on the boat. How we got here, I don't know. I suspect that it was last night when we were tied up there because we're right next to all the trees and the bush and the happy forest. And I'm gonna guess he just jumped on the boat and ran across the swim platform in and boom, inside. Obviously the, uh, the, the companionway door was open, enough for him to get in there. And then he maybe got scared and hid behind the walls. So, uh, the plan is, and the reason why we're heading home is yes, to grab some uh, mouse traps. So we got to get back to our place, uh, go to the local lumber yard. Hopefully, they got them there in stock. Set them up, and we are gonna go home for the night and just let that guy come out. I don't know. Yeah. So that is that sad cautionary tale. Um, so we're gonna trap him get him off the boat and then just spend the rest of our time and the weekend on the boat. Um, I had planned to that we would come back tomorrow, Thursday afternoon, so that we would be there for Friday because we're supposed to have two more, well today, Thursday and Friday are supposed to be lovely sunny days, zero chance of rain, and then after that, as far as you can see, it's gonna be rain every day. And I gotta take the canvas off and give, give it a thorough wash job got really really dirty again and do that waterproofing of course I have to have a dry day sunny not necessarily but dry sunny helps so that's gonna be the better part of the day to do that job and uh, put that all back together before the rain comes so yeah like I say it's a beautiful day really sleepy really tired today but we are working our way home we got another five blocks I believe it is to go through it should take us about two two and a half hours from this point, we're right now on Canal Lake and uh, uh, back to our marina. Uh, I'll check into you, with you, as we go. Mouse. <laughs> That's a first.
Okay, as we sit here at the top of Lock 37, uh, waiting to lock through, they're just bringing up a couple boats right now. Got a couple minutes to kill. Anchor Girl uh, reminded me to mention to you that we, I don't know if I shared it, but back when we were at Lock 44, at the bottom of the uh, Big Shoot Marine Railway a couple weeks ago, first time we had seen a, a mouse on a boat and it was really it was quite comical because it wasn't happening to us and what happened we were sitting on the dock and a small boat pulled up with a I think two couples like looked like mom and dad and, and, and their adult kids and they left the boat and they went up I'm guessing to get ice cream or whatever and I was sitting there and all of a sudden I saw a mouse run pop his head up run across the dock line jump on the dock and start screwing along the dock so I started chasing that little bugger because I didn't want him to come over to our side of the dock up our lines and into our boat so I just you know ran towards him and stomped my feet and <laughs> the little guy actually he ran along the dock down the side of the dock and fell in the water and it's like oh well sorry but he swam along and then up on the dock and kept going but he climbed underneath the dock so I couldn't get at him tried to scare him but didn't see him so maybe half an hour an hour later I told anchor girl that because she didn't see it she was on the boat <laughs> I said wow this is what happened it's like really you sure it was a mouse yes I'm sure it was a mouse so just sitting there like say maybe half an hour 45 minutes later that little bugger pops his head up through the dock runs towards that same dock line <whistles> across the transom of the boat and fell down jumped inside the boat and we're like wow I gotta tell those people when they get back. So sure enough, when they returned, told them the story, and they kind of shrugged it off. Said, oh, "Okay, well, whatever. We got a, a guest traveling with us." And I was thinking, like, man, that was pretty creepy, driving around with a, a mouse, a wild animal of any sort that could just jump out and scare the poop out of you. And that was the end of that. And here we are. It's come full circle. I'm wondering if it's the same mouse. No, it's not the same mouse because that one was actually cute. He had big ears. This one is just a regular run-of-the-mill field mouse. Um, yeah, so that was that. Actually, last night we were talking to a couple behind us uh, who were staying there for the night as well. And I had remarked this is the first time in that I can remember on our summer holidays that we haven't had an issue on the boat, like a mechanical something break that I had to fix, which is pretty much the norm every year. <laughs> so, anchor girl says I may have jinxed it by saying that and now we got this bugger who is like I said last night I said if this if this something was broken I could fix it and we'd be on our way but I can't fix this until we get the uh, appropriate tools mouse traps are not part of my not part of my arsenal so we are going to get extras just in case